Hello everyone, welcome to this video and Happy New Year. Uh, this will be the first video of 2023. I hope you had a good year. I know a lot of people in 2022 weren't, you know, the world isn't the greatest of places, but hopefully 2023 will be a much better year. Even if you had a good year, I hope this year's even better. So on the table is basically everything that I have painted. Not all of it was painted last year, but it's all basically what I have painted to date. There are a couple things on the table that aren't fully finished. Um, some of the bigger monstrous creatures still need some touch-ups on their poison. And some of the models need some touch-ups. Um, I got some sealer, so I'm going to be going through model by model, finishing up any touch-ups, finishing off any last-minute details, and then sealing them. So that will be a plus. And... Yeah, just wanted to say, have intentions to do at least one video every week this year. Um, every week there will be an update, and my only goal for the year is to paint 25 minutes every day. Uh, it doesn't matter if I finish projects, work on projects, anything. I enjoy painting, and that's what I want to do, and I need to paint in order to keep moving forward. So that is my only goal, and... By also by doing it, I will be doing Armies on Parade this year, and I will be focusing on Age of Sigmar Goblins. Uh, mostly squigs, but the bottom of my display board is going to be 250 little goblins. And when I first looked at that, I'm like, there's no way. But then I worked it out. Um, if I do 6 to 7 goblins every week, I can hit 250 models in 10 months because you do 6 models every week 6, 6 is 12, 12 and 12 is 24 the first week of the month you do 7, you're at 25 10 months, 250 goblins so I thought that's not unreasonable so every Monday I'm going to try and do 6 to 7 goblins and see how it goes from there uh, and then the rest of the week spend 25 minutes minimum on a project, whether it be a commission, something for me, terrain, you know, whatever. I'm allowed to jump, allowed to do anything I want. And the intent is to get into the habit of, you know, using that as my calm down, relax time, put on some music, you know, just sit back, relax, and do some painting. Because like I said, I enjoy painting. Um, I'm not Golden Demon level, but some of my stuff is pretty good. And I don't even know what I'm capable of doing, because most of my stuff is a pretty basic color scheme. Like, even when I pick up a Tyranid, let's go with this guy. This is very simple. Like, I wasn't trying to win awards or do anything like that. But on the tabletop, arms reach, everything, it does look pretty good. So this year, not, not no plans, but I would like to improve my painting. Uh, I've got a couple ideas on how I want to do it, what I want to do, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so 25 minutes every day. That's it. Um, so what you're seeing on the table, we have just over 4,000 points of painted Tyranids. Um, oddly enough, I've got almost all the HQs, but not much else. Um, I need to focus on the troop, which is what I was working on. Um, I have been off for a long time. We, My gaming group kind of split up a bit, and we just weren't feeling Warhammer. Uh, I played some video games, some Warhammer video games related stuff. I did a little bit of painting, some commission work. Actually, I did mostly commission work and didn't really work on my stuff much. Uh, but we played a lot of other games. We played Dice Throne. If anyone is watching and has played that, leave a comment below. Um, we played video games. I have pulled out my old original Xbox, pulled out some games, and we played them. We beat the whole game and then went, this is cool. And then I finally decided to get rid of my system and all the games clear out some room, and yeah, been working on some projects, some other stuff, a um, bunch of writing and just, you know, personal stuff, not like personal stuff, but th 
things that aren't related to wargaming, so I'm not going to go into. But on the table, we have top corner, which you can't see. We have the drop pod, tuna drop pod, turvigants, exocrine. Hopefully this won't fall. My stand sucks. It sucked for a long time. I bought a brand new one, and it doesn't have the piece to screw the camera onto, so I've got a cool tripod that I can't use. So, back to this one for now. We'll look into that in the new year for sure. We have four and a half talent there. We have Clear Lictor, which I use as the Death Leaper. Beside him we have a Lictor. Broodlord. I guess we can zoom in a bit. Whoop. There we go. So we have the Clear Lictor, Broodlord. Two Broodlords there. Some Gene Stealers. We got 20 Gene Stealers. We got a couple Termagants just to show color scheme stuff. We got some um, Rippers. That's the name of them. Um, most of them I have, I have a whole bunch of Rippers in a bag somewhere. So when I find them I want to paint them up and just add more to the bases because you can have a ton of them. We'll get back to those Space Marines at the bottom in a minute. And then at the back here... Sorry for my awful camera work, too. We have three Neurothropes and a unit of five Zonethropes. Uh, the big one in the back was supposed to be the Doom of Malentai, or a Warlord Neurothrope, so he stands out. He's on a 50 mil base instead of 40, and, you know, just bigger, more intimidating. We have a demi Karen in the back. Then we have... Oh, hiding over there is another Flying Hive Tyrant. He was a converted one, he's all pewter. We have the Swarm Lord, three Carnifex, and nope, that's Carnifex. That's Old One Eye. Barbed Herodule, and then we have the Flyer, not the good one with the guns, but the other one, because uh, that's how I built it. And we got a couple Tyranid Warriors out here. That's what I've primarily been working on. I've got, I want to say 14 or 24. On the, in the go. So their armor's done and I'm just base coating the green. So it takes forever, I get bored, and then I just don't do it for a couple days. Um, so that's that. That out of the way. We have a bunch of Tyranid, or <laughs> not Tyranid Warriors, those are Tyranid Warriors. We have Necron Warriors, uh, a mixture of both guns. Then we have some scarabs on the bottom. We have a Necron Overlord, a jumpy, not the Chronomancer. He's one of the Cryptek. Always get their names mixed up. Chron, no, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna say I don't know. We have some of these guys. They're the people call them trash cans. About six of those. We have a bunch of destroyers. There's seven of them there. We have the Destroyer Lord in the back. A single Wraith. And we have the three little Plasma Sites. The Crit Tech. And a not fully finished, but almost finished, converted Flayed One. I need to redo the skin because it looks awful. But the blood and oil mix and the rest of it looks okay. So I'm going to do that. And I think... I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're on 32 mil bases, so I have to redo their bases. Um, one of the other problems with my Tyranid Warriors are they are on 40 mil bases, so they will be going to 50 mil as well. We have this guy finished. He's so cool. He was so much fun to paint. And then we have the first bust I've ever painted. And it wasn't meant to be fully finished. It was meant to be done to a level where I could show some people how to paint. So like her ear is painted with her hair to show if you make a mistake, you know, don't worry about it, it's fine. You know, the teeth are just white, they're not fully finished. The beer is kind of like a gold, not a, you know, bubbly beer. And yeah, so it looks pretty good. But it is, you know, not to the best of my standard. It is 3D printed, 
And yeah. So I look forward to doing more of those. Then we have some turquoise blood bowl orcs. And a friend of mine has he wants to play Blood Bowl. Well, he wants to play Warhammer 40k too. But he wants to play some Blood Bowl. So we'll eventually maybe learn how to play. I don't know. I haven't played any games of the new edition. Um, some of these models have already been on my channel. that They were on the shelf. And I thought, let's showcase them. This is a troll throwing a goblin with the ball. These were super fun to paint. Um, we have some of my friend's Terminators are they're almost 100% done. There's still some details, but they're, ba they're, they're definitely tabletop. So we have a squad of those with this guy who's broken at the waist. His staff seems to be indestructible, but his waist, he seems to break all the time. So we'll see how he goes. Then we have his counts as demon prince if he wants for the thousand suns. Or he has this army. So Age of Sigmar Bone Reapers. And put the tree down so his arm would or his foot would touch it. So there's three points. So he's not all shaky all the time. And doesn't break super easy. Hopefully doesn't break as I say that, but... So he's the first model of that army finished. The rest has been started, but not done. Then we have... A Counts as Thunderwolf Calvary Lord. With a Thunder Hammer. So he's getting there. It's going to be used for my friend Space Wolves. I've seen him play on the channel a bunch. So it's going to be the Counts as... And then my other friend that plays Space Wolves wanted his to match his regular wolves. And he wanted just Lightning Claws. So I was like, just paint this guy up. Good to go. Yeah. Ah, it's all good. It's pretty, actually pretty strong. Um, and then these spikes coming out of him, I have some Space Marine helmets somewhere. And they're just going to be trophy racks. So he's like literally impaling himself with things to enrage himself and wear trophies. And, you know, kind of crazy because, you know, he's a werewolf. Why not? Um, but yeah. So that's where I'm at with my collection so far. This year, like I said, my only real goal is to paint 25 minutes every day. Um, I realize some days I won't be able to. And the hope is I don't just do 25 minutes. I want to sit down, do my 25, and then be like, well, I'm just going to finish this. Oh, I'm just going to do this. And just, you know, paint some more. Um, I've cleared up a lot of my backlog and things going on outside of the hobby. So a bunch of that shouldn't get in the way. And yeah, so lots of things to do. Lots of videos I want to make. And... Yeah, that's hopefully going to be my new year. So my next video will probably be a starting point of my Armies on Parade. And the main army is going to be Squigs with some trolls and a giant. And the display board itself, the bottom layer, is just going to be a flood of goblins. So I want that to look cool, plus I want those goblins done. And if I can finish five goblins or six or seven goblins a week. It's a small victory that'll keep me going, keep me motivated, and hopefully that's what I need to just keep going. Um, and then, end of the year, just to say I finished 250 goblins is, you know, something important too, or something, a big milestone. And these armies aren't, I mean, they're capable of winning, you know, a local tournament for best painted, because, you know, as an army, they look pretty good. Um, and, you know, they're decent. Oh, these guys. Before I say goodbye. I painted these up in 8th edition as my Legions of the Damned. And then they took them out. So, who knows? Maybe they'll bring them back. But, 
Figured I'd show them since they're here. Again, super simple. But yeah, so I want to, this year, I do want to do a lot of quality painting, but I also want to, you know, bang out some units, get some numbers up, um, get my pile of shame, if you will, which will be a separate video based on faction spread out throughout the year. Um, I kind of wanted to do a specific month for each theme, but decided no themes, no going to try and do this, no I want to do that, just the 25 minutes. Um, and that's it for this video. If you've, you know, held on this long, thank you very much, and have a great day.